What's up, Terrains? My name is Cargo, and welcome back to another episode of Calamity 1.4 Melee. Uh, so, as you can see, I've pulled another YouTuber moment, and I've expanded our base off-world, or off-recording. And I uh, got a few more NPCs in here, got a little bit more room. And then also, you may be able to see that I have these two rooms empty here. This is going to become our storage room. So, we're going to be doing magic storage today. We're going to probably be taking on a couple of bosses and then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty uh, impactful, quick episode. Uh, I don't have a ton of time to record today, but uh, I just wanted to get this in because I am loving getting back into Terraria and being with you all. It's been so great to see the support last couple of days. It's been awesome. It's been really encouraging, honestly, and uh, I'm excited to keep going. So with that, the first order of business is to grab our storage components. Yes, okay, I was trying to think there. I need chests, which this is good. And then I think I need silver for this. Yes, silver. That's right. Because I think I already looked this up. Yes. Storage units. 10 silver bars. We need 100 silver. Oh, look at that. We have 100 silver. Let's uh, go ahead and make that real quick. And where's that? We only need... Oh, yeah, I guess I might, might as well make all of it into silver. And we're going to make 10 storage units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then in yesterday's recording, I actually found a bunch of diamonds, emeralds, and sapphire. So I think we have everything that we need. We need a storage heart and a storage crafting interface. Boom. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I believe how this works is I can actually connect these down here. Oh, I thought it would look nice. It does not look nice. Oh, bummer. Well, maybe let's do one of these. Hang on, hang on. And then how do I make a... Get out of here. Storage. There's like a connector. Storage connector piece. Any iron and then wood. Okay, so we should have all that together. Can I connect it and make it look nice? I don't think so. Did I do one of those? And then it's, it, it works. Boom, 400 items. Look at that. Okay, not the sharpest looking thing on the planet. We might have to rework this. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be reworked. But <laughs> it's here, it's working. And we have storage units. Now we can like move all this in for, or all this stuff in here. And I'm going to just do that real super quick. Oh, and just like that, our crafting is done. And apparently we're taking on the Eye of Cthulhu again. Uh, we're going to die. This is, uh, this is just what's going to happen today. Oh, we got a lucky fallen star right into his face. Perfect. Uh, I don't have any of my buffs. I have nothing different than yesterday's attempt. But I guess here we are to try it. I have a slightly bigger home, but a lot less platforms to deal with it. So, uh, yeah, this is not going to look good. I don't think we're going to do this one. But, uh, yeah, we're here. So we might as well take the attempt. It's a free attempt. Oh, I forgot all the keybinds. Okay, it's that one. And then I think it's X. Did I make it X? I did make it X. Okay, we're doing lots of damage. Wow, he is down to 25%. 20%. So kind of my worry in this attempt is I don't have anything platforms. Oh, I did dodge it. Okay, we can dodge it. Ow, it hurts. It hurts with plenty of pain. Ow. I don't appreciate this. Okay, we're alive. Everything's fine. We're going to drop down. And now we're dead. Yep. <laughs> I think we did better last uh, this time than last time somehow. But okay. That's out of the way. We don't have to worry about the Eye of Cthulhu randomly spawning. Storage is completed. I was going to try to do like a really cool like snapshot thing that like it like was everything was done in a, in a second and just a frame change. Didn't realize that there was a the Eye of Cthulhu spawning right then and there. So that's happened. But everything's good. We now have a storage unit. If you're not familiar with how um, magic storage works, you can have a crafting interface. So we have all of our crafting stations here so it doesn't clutter up the rest of our home. We can type anything in, we can search for it, we can make a bunch of stuff. Apparently we can make life crystals, which is kind of crazy. Not going to do that though, because we only need two more. Don't want to waste anything. I do, however, want to make the ivy whip, because I'm going to do that. So we just hit craft, and we have that. Boom. And then also, we should be able to make platinum armor. Uh, I think it's 50 bars, so what, 10? 14, that's 24. 16, that's 40? Right? Yeah, so we have 63 bars, so we can make all this. I'm gonna craft one of these, craft some greaves, and craft some plate or platinum chainmail. 
So now we currently have, uh, let's go ahead and check our defense. We have 14 defense. Our set bonus is enemies are more likely to target you, which kind of stinks. But we get an extra five defense when below 50% health. And then we get an additional three defense for the set. Then if we switch to platinum, we have 25 defense. That's pretty increase. Uh, set bonus is plus four defense. Every 10 defense gives you plus one life regen. Oh, that's super nice. What the? And every point of defense gives you 0.1% increased critical strike chance. So we have a 0.24% increased strike chance. Both cap at 50. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. And then 25% mining speed. Oh, that's really sweet. That's super cool. Now that we have these, we can just go ahead and dump these right into our medic storage. And boom. Now we don't have to worry about it. I do want to grab this real quick and these because I use them all the time, but I don't have the inventory space. Oh, I guess I don't need the bow. I don't need the squirrel. I don't need the staff. So we're kind of good here, and that's melee. All right, so the next thing that's on our list is doing boss checklist, which I haven't bound yet. I feel like half the playthrough is actually just me binding all the keybinds. Um, where is boss checklist? Toggle boss checklist. Uh, let's go ahead. I think L is a good one. I think that's what I had it on last time. But I never accidentally hit it mid-fight. So we're just going to L. And we need King Slime, Desert Scourge, Torch God, which is insanely difficult. Uh, Giant Clam, Aya Cthulhu, Acid Rain, Crabulon. So the fact that we're almost able to beat Aya Cthulhu makes me think that we could take on the Desert Scourge, uh, Scourge pretty easily. Obviously, King Slime, I think we could destroy right now. What I would like to do is find a counterweight, find a one of the merchants in the cavern that sells them. That'd be really nice. So I could use that with my yo-yo because my yo-yo is cranking damage right now. Um, but otherwise, I'm actually going to go back into the jungle and farm for a jungle rose because I really want that melee weapon. I just want to feel really powerful in this playthrough. <gasps> a golden bunny. Uh, we're going to need to stay away from it. And then we need to grab one of these. Grab this. All right. We got to time it just right. No! <laughs> I got greedy. I knew I should have just taken off the accessory. Bummer. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we did that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go in the jungle. I'm probably not going to show it just because we were in the jungle a bunch yesterday and there's not going to be anything new that we haven't seen. Oh, and another thing I want to look for is uh, the bracelet instead of the aglet or the... Yeah, the other one that makes it lightning boots eventually. Whoa, that's some pretty good luck. Oh my goodness. Three heart crystals in a row. Okay, so that's uh, that's our life crystals. Boom. And uh, I've pretty much effectively farmed a lot in this jungle. And if this isn't the jungle rose right here, then I'm just going to go beat the Eye of Cthulhu. Because I heard you can actually get the jungle rose from the dryad. And so if I don't get it right here, we're going to go back. We're going to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. And we're going to get the dryad. And we're going to do that. And that solves that. That is not the uh, the jungle rose I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. We're going to be, let's quick sack our gold away. Let's deposit all that. And look at that. We're only 137 out of 400 items. So we got magic storage for a little bit longer until we have to do some more upgrades, which I'll have to kill the Ayakathulu and all of that stuff. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing a few more uh, or a little bit more farming. But, oh wait. Oh, I think I need six lenses, and I'm pretty sure... Or I only have five, and I'm pretty sure you need six. Let me grab that real quick. And to make the suspicious-looking eye... Yeah, you need six. Dang it! That's a bummer. Um, okay, well, then let's actually look at the King Slime. Or not King Slime. Oh, actually, I bet we could do King Slime. Let's make a, a crown real quick. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Oh, there's so many screens. All right. We're gonna make a crown. Boom. And then we're going to go find a demon altar, which I believe there's one right here. Yeah, crimson altar. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm going to go make this. We're going to kill the king slime. That way we just knock out a bunch of bosses right away, you know? And then when it comes to nighttime, we'll farm one more lens. I should actually make a arena right now, too, while it's daytime. But I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, that the king slime is going to be pretty easy. Now, obviously, some of you might have noticed, others that are maybe not as uh, observant may have not noticed, uh, but you can see my face now. Um, I hope you enjoy it. A lot of people were uh, actually making reference to no face cam, and uh, 
the janitor was making reference to no phase cam as to why there isn't one. And honestly, it's just a different setup. Normally, if you remember, I uh, usually have a green screen and you guys can't see my background. But uh, the green screen didn't fit my office too well in the sense of I didn't want to have it uh, up all the time and I don't like taking it down. So I was like, you know what? This is going to be... I'm just going to do no face cam. I think I did that towards the end of my... Uh, uh, the last series anyway, so I was like, I hope maybe no one will notice But some of you requested and I think it's a it's a good touch uh, Maybe like if you, maybe you like it the way I look I don't but me <laughs> Okay, self-deprecating uh, jokes are not allowed. Um, I Think this is enough an arena for uh, King Slime. Oops. Actually, let's just use all the platforms. Why not end it out? Boom, we're gonna do this. We're gonna murder the guy real super. Oh, It gives you a summon? Why don't I ever remember that? Okay, that's pretty sweet. I'll take that. Wow, 75 damage. Jeepers, even with the increased uh, defense. I'm just trying to get it to where my, my swords can do some damage, but I don't think that's the case. I need to back up severely. Maybe use some uh, rage if I can figure out what key bind it is. There we go. All right, murder him. We're doing it. Okay, this is this is not good. I need to do a turnaround and I can't really do a turnaround at this point Okay, was that the rage finishing up? I don't actually know Or was that oh we're killing him. Oh, okay. We did it. Woo! Good job team. I, I Wasn't even watching his health to be completely honest There we go. We got the treasure pack. I just need I need everyone to die Please don't all right everyone to die except for me. There we go. We're at like one HP What we got we got the Intrepid Heart of Darkness. Can be worn in bandy slots. Material. You're constantly gaining range over time. Rage does not fade away when out of combat. Revengeance drop. That's pretty good. I like that. We'll probably do that instead of the Aglet. Because we already have the Hermes boots. Oh, and we got the Slimy Saddle. Sweet. Um, only a fool could be caught in this pitiful excuse of a hunter. Unfortunately, our world has no storage of those. I don't know what this means. I thought you had to like keep these in your inventory to like get a buff. Is that only certain of them now? I know nothing. All right. Well, we can put this in the crafting slot and then everything else we can just dump in here. Oh, wait, except for the King Slime Relic. We got to keep that. Boom. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a place that's better for it later. Um, I do really want to take care of this, though. So let me nope. do that. Perfect. And we're good here. Oh, let me throw that in there. Quick stack the gold. And I think... I think this is a good enough arena for Aya Cthulhu. I just need to make sure that I don't cross too far into this. I, like, if I'm going to go on this side... Uh, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly make an arena. Alright, we have our suspicious looking eye all done. We got our lens. We have all of our potions. We have a few campfires. I've added some platforms over here. I was planning on adding uh, some sunflowers like right here, but I need grass to grow on them and that only happens during the day. And I don't know, does dirt, does, does grass normally grow on dirt or do I need to like place seeds on it? I don't remember, honestly, but we're gonna go ahead and buff up. We're gonna kill the, or spawn the Agathulu and then we're gonna murder him. And it's gonna be great. Everyone loves a good murder, don't we? Murder story, not, I mean, maybe not like actually murder, but like I'm thinking like, you know, like those types like criminal shows. I think everyone enjoys those, right? Am I, am I the only one? Am I a weirdo? I don't know. Maybe I am. Okay, this is good, kind of. Okay, this is bad that I dropped down here. I didn't mean it. Oh, I made mistakes. Get me out. Four for four. There we go. That's Spanish for please. I missed it by that much. Okay, we did it. Man, that was terrible. I wanted to get like close with like my swords and whatnot. And that was just a mistake. That was a bad move. All right, we're almost got our rage up. And we're not hitting him at all. Is my rage already up? Is that what I'm hearing? Like, why am I not seeing the rage move or actually get ticked? Oh, it's already up. Okay. No, get over here. I didn't do any damage with this rage. This is pathetic. Uh, all right, we did a little bit of damage. He's at 20% HP, 18. And I'm doing actually pretty good on health, not gonna lie. I need to be focused more on dodging though. I have not been paying attention to this move right here. There we go. 
That wasn't bad. Oh, we got hit by an eyeball. Whoops. All right, nine percent. I don't see us losing to this, honestly. I haven't even used the health potion yet. And we got rage. Let me just use a health potion for safety, just to make sure I don't mess it up for some reason. And boom, I Cthulhu, you're gone. You're dead. Nailed it. Okay. Now, oh, we even got a trophy. That's sweet. Uh, throw that right there, because why not? We have the eye of Cthulhu, that eye, how peculiar. I sense it watching you more intensely as you grew stronger. Well, it spawned on its own twice, so that's pretty annoying. And we got this, and now what do I do? Do I get rid of the feral claws? Do I get rid of the anti-darkness? And uh, Trippid Heart of Darkness? I don't know why I said anti-darkness. Maybe uh, anti-dark heart is uh, on my mind. Shield of Cthulhu, I think we're going to... I mean, Rage is so good, though. Like, Rage is better than this, I think. I don't know. While this is inventory, you have a low chance to consume potions. and uh, Or not to consume. And we get that uh, the 10% buff duration and get 10% discount. We got Ox's Aviators. We have Crimtain Ore. And we have more Shadow Diamonds. And we got the, the Relic. Oh, yes. Again, I'll, I'll find a better spot for these, I promise. But right now, here they are. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these away. And then now we're going to wait for the dryad to spawn. I'm also, I think I'm going to go ahead into the desert to see what I can find in there. And yeah, I think we're going to move forward from that point. So we're just going to go to the desert. There's a specific accessory that I want to get. And it's called Luxor's Gift. Wait, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's the Luxor's Gift. Oh my gosh, it is. Incredible. All right, we're going to murder you real quick. And boom. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, toxic downpour in the wastelands. I don't need to do that. Uh, okay. Well, we we got it. Uh, awesome. <laughs> I did not expect that. What do we want to get rid of? I really like the fall damage uh, thing. And I think we have to get rid of this. Because the shield of Cthulhu is just too good. Honestly. Like, I just... It's, such ne it's so needed for movement. Such needed. Much needed. Much wow. Much goodly things. All right, painter, you get some pretty sweet paintings. You're welcome, dude. All right, we have a Stormlight Mandible. I think that got a sprite update. Oh, sweet. And then, oh yeah, we got the Luxor's Gift. So weapons fire unique projectiles based on the damage type they have. Some weapons are unable to receive this bonus. So, oh, yo-yos. That's sweet. So every time I throw it, oh, that's awesome. That is pretty dope. I like that a lot. Okay, next up, next accessory. There's an accessory that affects true melee. <gasps> the Dryad's here. Yo, okay, hang on. Jungle Rose, you sell that? Oh, you do. Amazing. You're the best. Because you're the best around. Boom. Sorry for the cringe singing. All right. We're good here. I am just trying to quick sack. I don't know why I'm going down to my settings. We're going to make... Uh-oh, hang on. Actually... Let me just figure out what this is called. Jungle. It's like search of the V, does isn't it? Bet, Betteros, Peros, Whip, Flail. I don't remember. Let me. Oh, there it is. Let me look up this, and then maybe look up the vines, and then we can look up Yetevio. Yeah, that was close. All right, Yetevio is what it's called, and we're gonna grab this. <gasps> it's here. We have it amazing oh wow oh oh it's like a true flail okay for sure oops and then it has a right click and this is the true melee does it say it so uh 12 percent critical strike chance average speed average knockback to synthesis of the jungle floral throws a powerful rose flail right click to stab with a flower spear okay but the flower spear this is what is the um I can't think of it, what the true melee form is. So that's what we're going to be looking for with this next accessory. Um, and I'm going to quickly go look at that. Or I'm going to at least try to find it. Because I have a feeling it's going to be down in this area. Don't know why. I just have a hunch that that's where the mushroom bio is going to be. And of course, knowing YouTuber luck, we're going to find the accessory that I'm looking for. Which I don't even know the name of or what it looks like. But I'm sure I will find it on the first try. Just because that's who we are as a YouTuber. You got that YouTuber luck. And boom, just like that, exactly where I said it wasn't going to be. <laughs> that's, 
so far from where I was. Uh, yeah, I pretty much took this hole that I thought was gonna go straight down and just went straight to the right. And I'm dying here, perfect. And now we're at a, a, a mushroom biome. That's all that matters, right? We were right in the sense of that we were completely wrong. Just remember that, all right? Uh, so, <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I even saying? I have no idea. I literally don't have a single clue. But we are here and now we need to find a way in so that we can get to the chest that we need. Please be here. I really, would really appreciate it. Ooh, a duck statue. That's always handy dandy. Uh, but not what we need. What I do want is there's actually a... It's an accessory. I can't remember. That gets dropped from uh, corrupted... Or from the purple corruption. I can't think of what else this is called. What am I getting hit by? Nobody knows. Was it a... Well, I genuinely have no idea what I was getting hit by. Is it this thing? Does this not have a chest? That would make me so sad. I don't see anything up here. Yeah, I don't think it has a chest. Well, that's incredibly sad. How dare I assume that I had YouTuber luck? Unless it's right here. No, I don't think it is. Bummer. All right, so we've made a tiny bit of arena. We have our desert medallion, and I think we're ready to go. Uh, I do actually want to add a couple of campfires just for the extra added benefit for health regen. But yeah, this will be the last thing that we do this episode as uh, we've done a lot. I'm running out of time for this recording and I spent a lot of time unnecessarily looking for a accessory that we don't need for right now. <laughs> uh, but I want it. And so I'm going to get it probably off screen or at least look for a, a bunch of biomes off screen and we can look together afterwards. Okay, uh, so I'm going to kill these things because they're so annoying. For some reason, they just love spawning all the dang time. And we're going to spawn in the Desert Scourge. Oh my goodness, you are a big boy. Um, I don't know what to do here. Oh gosh. Wow, I am taking so much damage. I thought I would destroy you. And it turns out you are destroying me. I need to pay attention more. You can fly? Oh, and you do that type of damage or attack? Did they rework you? I don't remember this. <laughs> I remember them flying. Just not the whole, uh, wow, does he do damage? Oh my goodness. I might die here. I might actually not beat this. Not being able to see the little ones and then also not being able to predict where the, uh, the, the guy's coming from is a little scary. Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe a bit higher, maybe a little bit more platforms, maybe a little bit more, uh, Dodging ability. All right, we're ready to take this again, and I'm actually gonna make a fortitude potion as well And I think that's actually all we need in terms of buffs. Oh, I do actually want to grab some food uh, Does this show food here? Perfect. Amazing. And we're good. All right. We're gonna try this again um, I saw the uh, the traveling merchant and he had a katana, which is a pretty sweet weapon uh, Look at that. I mean look at that whip speed or whip speed attack speed it's pretty nuts. Uh, not usually very usable uh, in any situation except for when you just have a lot of mobs in front of you. And it honestly is pretty high damage. So 110 TBS versus 68. So we'll be using that in like uh, tight quarters like when we're mining and whatnot. But we're ready to take this on once again. We have added two more platforms. I'm sorry for the continuity error here between uh, these unfortunate platforms. But uh, it looks like I accidentally quick stacked my boss summon away like a fool. We're gonna do that. <laughs> I just had a coughing fit, so I edited that out. I'm so sorry uh, that I just like stopped mid-sentence, but apparently I just started uh, dying. My body's telling me that this recording is over and technically I've gone over time, but we are killing this boss. And okay, a little bit better. I didn't take that much damage from that being hit right there. That was actually pretty nice. Okay, so the head is what does the damage. It's like the Eater of Worlds and the uh, Destroyer. Okay, nice. Oh my gosh, those things just come out of nowhere. Where's the audio cues? Oh, we almost killed this one. Oh, nice. Okay, so we kill those. Doesn't it respawn in like more? I think it does. But that's pretty good. We've gotten both of those. That's what killed us last time. We're doing a little bit better on the health department. I am going to take a health potion a little bit early just so that we can get that, hopefully, that pot to respawn. Oh, wait, we do poison damage. How do I not notice that? Yeah, we're adding debuffs to this thing, and it's taking damage. Oh, perfect. 
We just need the extra height in this fight. And I think the extra height and along with the defense. And we're going to get rage here and it's going to die. If I hit it. And boom. Okay, there we go. Much easier. Do I not get... Oh, it's all right here. It's all hidden. Like, do I not get a treasure bag? What kind of destruction is that? All right, we got to kill one of these things now, which I I think we've killed already. Yeah, these things are a piece of cake. Later, nerd. All right, we got victory shards. We have coral. We have stuff like that. We have stress bills. Can be worn in vanity slots. Drilling charges 20% faster. Increase your movement speed and acceleration by 5%. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, I remember this. Stress. I think I remember this. Is it like, wasn't it orange before? I feel like it was like an orange pill box. But now, now we're good. We have this uh, storm spray, which is pretty nice uh, for mage, but we're not going to be using it. Uh, we can have a chance of getting fish gear. We got fish earrings and a fishing potion. And we got the uh, the bow along with this. But I don't think I'm going to wear that. Uh, it might be good for the sunken sea, honestly. You might want to do that. Oh, and we got the, uh, the relic here. Ooh. That looks like smooth almost. Like, let me, let me take a look at this. No, okay, it's good. Uh, maybe the icon is just a little weird. Yeah, it look, I mean, that looks sweet. Those fangs look awesome. Incredible. Like, maybe like the smooth is like, you know, like how it has like the borders right here. I feel like the borders are a little bit better defined than here. But it still fits it. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the, down in the comments if you preferred the face cam or if you did not. And uh, if you stayed here to the end of the video, let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, I just want to see, you know, maybe who's watching everything. The support has been incredible recently uh, in the last couple of videos. Again, just thank you all so much for joining my content, for being here, for playing games alongside me. And um, yeah, just uh, want to end it with that. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.